The folio text of Love's Labor's Lost is, in many respects, identical to the earlier extant printing of the play, the quarto of 1598, but it has one showstopper of a variant. I mean that quite literally, since with it, the show stops. The folio adds a completely new final line to the play that does not exist in the earlier quarto. The final lines of the quarto edition look like this. After two characters sing a melancholy song about the seasons, someone announces, the words of Mercury are harsh after the songs of Apollo. There is no speech heading here. The typography is odd and large, and no one really knows what this line means. It's just kind of floating there in the quarto. The folio matters here in a big way. You can see how it's changed. It attributes this line to the braggart, that's Don Armato, and adds an entirely new sentence, an embedded stage direction that is full of rich possibility as the play closes. You that way, we this way. Now, we have no idea where this line came from. The folio version of the play was definitely based on the quarto, was this a line that the quarto printers somehow missed in the manuscript? Is it a later edition by Shakespeare or an actor who thought, well, we need a little something else at the end of this play? Did someone mark up the quarto and add this line? The first editor of Love's Labor's Lost? The folio is full of moments like this, showing us how Shakespeare's plays were always living texts, always in process to the moment that they appeared in print, always shared properties. The origins of this line are a little less interesting to me than the set of possibilities it enables for the play. Who is we? And who is you? Directors have any number of options when it comes here to say nothing of teachers, students, and editors like myself who need to make sense of this line who get to make sense of this line. Does our motto send the nobility out one stage door and the lower class characters who have just sung this song out another? Class divisions, which are so important in this play, would become the concluding visual signature of the comedy. Does he shoo the audience out their own doors while sending the actors off stage? This sort of typical Shakespearean breaking of the frame in an epilogue, but in a very compressed and quick and kind of like brusque way, go, you go, we'll go. Or, as I kind of like to think, does our motto separate out the men and the women of the play, sending them off stage in separate directions? If so, this final folio-only line really turns up the volume on a fantastic, fascinating element of the play. This play defers the romantic energy of romantic comedy. As Barone puts it at the end of the old play when he realizes that nobody in it is going to be getting married, he says, our wooing doth not end like an old play. This folio-only line thus connects with the resonant idea that Love's Labor's Lost may be Shakespeare's great avant-garde experiment in writing a new kind of play, a new kind of romantic comedy, a romantic comedy that is, at its core, entirely a romantic.